Hello everyone, today I'm going to be playing the old Crodo Solo. It's a classic, I know. A classic in the solo lane. And we're going to be doing a play-by-play, -play, of course. And I'm playing Kronos for a specific person, you know, specifics person, that's what I meant to say. Um, I don't remember the exact reason why. Let me Let me go find it real fast, it won't take very long. I'm a professional when it comes to this kind of thing. And, I mean, I wanted to play Kronos anyway, because Kronos is a fun god. He's actually one of my favorite characters, to be honest. Um, obviously, I'm using the diamond skin. That's, that just kind of shows you when he's my favorite characters. That he's one of my favorite characters. Um, and people seem to upvote the comment about the Kronos game. But now, see, right in the moment where I'm looking for the comment, while I'm doing this video, I'm not going to be able to find it. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right meow? Are you kidding me right meow? Um, yeah, we're gonna go with Warrior's Blessing. I want to try this just because your long range poke on Kronos is pretty good. And obviously, I'm not gonna go TP. Can't be really going that on a squishy character like Kronos. I could have also maybe gone. Um, could also maybe gone just like a like a actual damage item first instead of boots one. But I kind of want to rush the boots. Here it is. Greetings, fine. Okay, I'm from the future. A terrible event occurs in which pretzels are made illegal. We need your assistance. A chrono solo gameplay with us will help us understand how to use time and change the fate of the future. That's what I'm doing today. That's why I'm here. I'm here to save the day and play Kronos. The turn back time. I was about to sing a song, I think, with those lyrics, but then I forgot it. And that's the state of this gameplay currently. But we're going to be starting our blue like always. It's really, I think it's really good to just start blue now just because um, it doesn't really make sense to... What are these builds? What is going on here? My rat jungle is gonna not have assassin blessing. Should have maybe waited for these to spawn. Maybe rat will come over though. He took a little bit. I'll just pop a pot. Who cares? Anyway, what was I talking about? Nothing good, probably. Uh oh. Hebo boots rushed in mid. I kind of like it. That's alpha. Gonna be against a Kukolin. Interessante. Obviously, Kukolin's early game pretty strong. Did I just miss my one? Holy. Give me another Warrior's proc. That's okay with me. You can't use your three on me in the tower, buddy. Get a little bit more poke on him. What a shame. I want to try and keep this wave out of the tower line. That's why range characters are so good because you can auto them from a distance and keep them out of the tower. Especially after this update, the minions are like walking. I'm trying to show you guys what I mean, but they're like walking past where they normally would. They kind of just keep pushing up. I just want to hit you once, dude. Oh, that's too bad. I wanted to hit him plus the wave there, but it's okay. There we go. We hit him plus the wave there. Get some poke in. What a boy. Give me another warrior's proc. Let's go. Space for the one. And there he goes. I guess we'll probably get our two at level three here just so we can get the mana refund. We are using a lot of mana right now. I don't really have to hit him with this. But I will take that warrior's proc. Oh, oh yeah. We're going to juke it to the right just there. You never want to give people value for or, um, using their abilities on you plus the wave. They have to decide between one or the other. Whenever they do that, then it's just, uh, you know. Extra value out of each ability, out of their mana. Uh-oh, there we go, like I say. Oh, but you gotta hit those, my dude. Actually, you gotta be hitting those. I'm not afraid of you. I ain't afraid of you. Okay, maybe I am a little bit. Keep rocking our warriors. That's what... That's why I like going uh, warriors on these ranged characters. Gotta hit those, dude. Because you can, you can easily proc it from far away. So you get that stack real quick. I'm actually just gonna let these go into tower just so I can walk over to my blue here. Rat will not be here, so we need to burst this down. I'm gonna throw my vision shard down right here. Use the that hit of my quadrant, so I get the extra damage on the camp. My auto attacks, and then I have my vision shard down there just to see if he comes to try and steal, or if the jungler maybe arrives. I'm gonna back right away just because I don't have TP. I need to get back to lane with my full booties and be feeling good. I'm actually gonna go cool. To, actually, no, let's go purple. Let's go purple. We'll just go some multi pots for the mana. Plus, we got blue buff in our two, so we'll, we'll be fine. I just wanted to do it. For the cooldown, because cooldown spamming and solo with Kronos is pretty nice, but then again, 75 power and a little bit of lifesteal is also nice. So many options.
Currently two to two. We're down eight hundred gold. That's what you like to see. That's a, that's a sign of a a barn burner, perhaps. What the heck? Okay. That was a little odd. He's like pissed that I walked into the lane. I'll heal that up. I'm just gonna sit my with my two here and some multi pots. I don't really want to waste a chalice if I don't have to. This guy did go tier one magical defense. Give me another proc of that. Nice. I can actually maybe kill this guy. I have full boots. Oh, instantly goes. I'm gonna do it in that quadrant so I get the auto attack damage. Make sure I don't miss any autos here. Just barrel stuff him. <laughs> he laughed. <laughs> that's funny. I appreciate that laugh. He didn't use his TP yet, so that's why I kind of just knew that my power spike could kind of outtrade him. And he also kind of ulted me when he didn't really have much kill potential. Use that hit the quadrant there just so I can get the manas back. I also have a totem now, so. Whenever you have totem and a blue buff, it's really hard to run out of mana unless you're like freaking like hell. <laughs> Have another totem proc here. His ult's down, so no CC immunity. Might be able to kill. Oh, unless I miss. Ready, ready, ready. Ready, ready. Oh. Oh, and we hit it. For the warrior's full proc. We hit that too, right? No, we don't. We gotta style on him a little bit here. You know what's funny about Kakolinol is that I'm pretty sure it's an 85 second cooldown. Yep, it's about to be up. <laughs> I was about to say, it's about to be up. It's an 85 second cooldown, which is so troll. It's like such a weird number. You know what I mean? Just like slightly better than most faults. 90 seconds, but his is 80. 85. I'm gonna do this one again just for the auto attack damage. I'm not gonna use my one until my two runs out, just because I want to get as most most value out of my two as possible. We don't have the totem anymore. Gotta grab that. But the Kakolm was really poked and obviously he has no sustain. He also didn't go any pots, so. Okay. That again, because I'm going to use my one again on the totem here. A little mana refund. I wonder what the build will be this game. Should we just go full damage? Maybe we should. I don't want to ring up a cop debuts. I, I would suggest if you're a tryhard and you're watching my channel right now to learn how to play these characters, then you should go ring up a cop day and try and abuse that. But we're going to go a more um, weird build, more solo lane focused build, where we'll be a little bit tankier in the front line. Just because that's more fun. And you know, I don't wanna I don't wanna stomp some kids with some broken items, you know what I mean? Enemy Even the ring of cock they did just get nerfed, so it's still it's still really good though, you know. Especially if I go ring of a cop to typhons, that's just too much healing to to have fun against, to be honest. But we're just gonna go in the warlock, stack that bad boy up. That used to be a staple of the soul lane until they completely ruined the item forever. Basically, how you clear the wave as Chronos, you just group it up with your autos and then one yes. the whole thing. Need space for that. Oh. Need space for that, bad boy. We'll hit the ones. I actually have, I play with most of my abilities on instant cast, but I have a Chronos one on normal just because I like hovering over it for a bit, just for like. You know, it's got that, like, YY feel to it from, like, Call of Duty. You know what I mean? It's, like, just a fun ability to hover over. Hit him plus the wave, maybe? Uh, at least I hit the wave. I want to get some life steal from it, so. Ooh, nice juke. Try and hit our auto attacks here. Oh, there's a Baron. Hit both of them, maybe? Only hit the Baron. No big deal. We'll, we'll, run, we'll run away. Let me finish this totem. Thank you very much. Enemy spotted. Um, I, the only reason I was solo this game, I was supposed to be jungle, but um, my solo laner said I could solo, and he said that he watched my videos. So shout out to that boy, Mr. Nino Man. Nino Man. Uh oh, Nino Man. Give me that. Oh, you take it. I'll kill this guy. Oh, you gotta get that off, buddy. Oh, oh, there's a Hebo here. I'm gonna pay for my sins. Should I beat this? I should have beat that maybe. I'll see you later. Oh, that is heartbreaking. Look how close I am to my warlocks. It's alright, we'll get it. I can sell my ward for it. No problem. Dude, there was there really was four people there, wasn't there? The only person who wasn't there was Apollo. I'm not uh, I'm actually I was about to say I'm not surprised, but I actually am surprised. The <laughs> freeze. They're both playing the same skin as well. What is this? It's a battle to the death. No! Final boss, Ymir wins this time. So that ward that we never even place, but it works out because now we have an upper warlocks. Time is 
Time is money. That's kind of facts, isn't it? Such a weird item now, man. It used to have a purpose. It used to fill the role of being a bruiser, health, fun, cool stacking item that you could go. Also, you know, get, well, obviously gave you a lot of damage. Now it's just is like a pure damage item, basically. You get less survivability out of this than you do ethereal. And you have to stack it up. You obviously get more damage, but... Is it really worth it? My blue's down. I'm going to throw a vision chart on just so I get the timer. See? Get a timer on it because I knew it was on the ground. And you have to look at it or throw a ward down to actually get the timer. But also timers are... Blue buff timer is two minutes, so... If you know that it was just dropped, you can just look at the time at the top and add two minutes to it. And then that will be when it will respawn. You're going to ult that. Oh, yeah. Run! Let's go. Kronos 2, his let's go voice line is probably one of the coolest in the game. I just want you to clear the wave, man. Poke me out. Use your ultimate. I get it. I get it. You got a big... I'm not even going to say it. I'm not going to say it. Got to keep it PG. Oh, yeah. Your right tower is under attack. <laughs> so, the thing with Chrono Stun, and there's some other abilities that interact like that, but if you throw it on somebody and they use a jump, and it's supposed to stun them while they're in their jump, it'll immediately send them to their landing location, like where they were supposed to go. And they'll just immediately be stunned there where they were, would have gone. Got to be a little bit careful with my mana here, but my blue's about to be up and I got totems to get. We are now down 5k. This looks like a game that I'm going to have to carry. Maybe we can kill these fools. Oh, I thought they were going to be like walking towards my blue. Because they want to invade it probably again. Maybe I just burst it down. I'm just going to try and burst it. They might one here for a little bit of security. Looks like we're good either way. I'm going to go around as well. Got my two for the movement speed to get to my lane. Oh, kill him. Let's go. Nice job, guys. I was about to say boys or guys, and I said a little bit of both. Oh, how are you missing your one on the freaking big minion? This is where things are about to get weird. You guys are going to be like, what the hell is going on? I'm going to go shield a regrowth on Kronos. Like I said, if you really want to win games, I don't recommend this, but I'm going... Maybe I should have gone Aegis just because they have a Hebo. It's a lot of burst, but we're going Sprint. There's a Shield of Regrowth. Cooldown is nice, but it also works on his 2. So if you put hit the 2 in the first quadrant at the top, the top of the wheel, you get HP 5, or you get healing. It's technically healing because that's how, that's how Shield of Regrowth works. So It's more like just like a big increase of HP 5, but... It's not really that great of a heal, but it, it can do some stuff. And he has top his back. Retreat left lane, okay. Wait, what? What is this? I didn't actually, I thought he meant like he, I thought he was miss VGSing. Because I literally just got back to lane and then they all started coming, you know? I didn't think like that was going to happen. I just used both my axes for that, which sucks, but... It is what it is. It is what it is. Maybe I should have heeded my my teammate's call there. Headed? He took heed of? Everyone will understand that reference. I knew they were on that, but I didn't think they were one-shotting it. What is that, bro? Oh, too clean. Oh my god. They're all coming. Help me. Go to fire here. Maybe they'll tank it. Curses, dude. Oh my god. Look, he started tanking it, but... Eh, not much we can do there. Holy cow. We are behind. This is a bit of a rough one. This is, this is the downfall of the soul lane. This might be uh, one of those games where the game was balanced out because I have pretty high elo. The game was balanced out by putting me with some um, uh, pit players that aren't at, like my MMR with against a bunch of players that are at least a bit higher than them. You know what I mean? 
Like, it's the equivalent of putting a Grandmasters player with a bunch of Platinum players. And then... I'm not saying this is what happened. I'm not... Uh, that's not what I'm saying about my teammates. But a lot of times, the way Smite matchmaking works, or the way it bounces things out, is it'll put a Grandmasters player with, like, four Plat players against five Diamond slash Masters players. You know what I mean? And that's how it balances out, which is just... In a team game like this, it, it'll never be... Never work out, you know? I'm surprised it's even up. Like I said... Not saying that's what happened in this game. I'm not flaming my teammates. Just how it be sometimes. Just how it be. So as you can see, I get the shield of regrowth proc, which is pretty cool. You, you even get shield of regrowth procs when you're full health and you use the healing ability, so that's nice. I just got gold for you. This is gonna be it's gonna be an interesting game if we can come back from from despair here. Goes mid. Enemies in middle lane. Try and get some farm. Right here. Maybe I should have ring of Akate abused so I could carry my team, perhaps. Gink, I'm on my way. On my way. Gink, middle Enemies way. incoming. Attack. Attack, we can kill this guy. Kill. Kill, kill, kill. Maybe we just kill this guy for now. Even though he's really not worth that lot. A lot. We need to kill this hero. Oh, Heba went under. He's gonna try and freeze me here. Nice, I was DR'd, so I didn't get hit by that. Nice, he has no bees. That should be a kill. Give me that kill. Oh, I needed that. That would have been a big uh, shutdown. Just see, grow shoot a regrowth out of here, boys. They'll never catch me alive. Oh, nice double portal. Oh, kill these guys. You gonna bees, maybe? No, he didn't. We gotta come back from the jaws of defeat here. I'm too fast for you, bro. Oh, maybe I gotta hit those, though. Oh. Oh, no. How do I miss my... How am I missing my freaking three there? Oh, what a portal you rock, but don't get cocky. Oh, my goodness. What a, what a mad lad. Okay, I choked there. I definitely, I definitely choked that. Kill on the near. Oh my god, the Apollo actually chased. He actually, what a madman. Now we're going wing blade. We're just going movement speed Chronos. Okay, that's what this has come to. Although I need to switch, I need to switch into more of a carry build. So I'll go wing blade into, um, perhaps uh, Telekines. I do have a little bit of percent pen on my, my Warlocks, 10%. And Telekines is a good damage item just on its own, like, especially for their carries. Like, I don't really need a lot of pen for them, and if I just pop my two in Telekines with my current build, I, I would be kind of popping. What's going on here? Why is he running at me? I kind of just want to go grab his tower. So she had a regrowth proc here. Do this. The team's going to be in right around gold here. I should really be over there at the same time. I'm getting towers, and I'm about to be able to get my wing blade. Whenever you start clearing waves, at this point you just three through the whole wave and then one the front minion so you get the brute minion really low and then just auto it down. I have wing blade, so I'll get there pretty quick, but it's seven percent now. And my entire team is dying. No! Just as we come back from the jaws of defeat, man. It comes back to grab us again. I need my stun to be up to even threaten these guys. Maybe I just try and clear the wave here. I just need to try and clear the wave so I can actually, uh... They can't get the tower, maybe. Wow, they still got it. They must have had a minion left. Keep poking them down. They're really chasing me out, though. They're never gonna catch me, bro. This guy is seriously chasing me around. No way that guy lives. That's his beads. Oh, he walled himself off. Oh, run, retreat. This guy is going to own us all. Retreat. This guy not have beads? He did? Oh, he ulted. 
This Hebo is just doing Hebo things, isn't he? Oh my goodness. Run! Oh my goodness, and they get a kill. Let's go. This is good for us. A little split push action, trying to spread out the map here. Oh, and we get a red buff for our transgressions, maybe? Oh my god, this thing's about to own me. Run! Bye! <laughs> Look how fast I am. I take back what I said about the build. Don't go Ring of Ikate. That Winning might sound fun, but you know what's more fun? Just running at the speed of light. I'm going to use my mana thing here so I can get back enough for one. Nice. Alright. We need some damage though. We actually need to be able to kill some fools. Let's work on that Telekines. You can see how hard hard we are to kill though. Our Warriors West thing combined with the health that we have and our movement speed, we're very slippery. And honestly, movement speed sometimes feels like it's better than tank. Building tank just because it seems like you're harder to kill than when you than you are when you have actual tank items. They're really trying to pull fire here? I don't have beads up, so... What a shame. Oh, there's some pyro. Maybe I look for a cheeky steal here. Ah, oh, they have it warded! I'm gonna wait till the last second to ult. Oh no, Janus just missed everybody with that. And then I get a big stun. No way he got his wall back up. Am I actually just a goner? Oh, the wing blade proc! They'll never catch me alive. Gotta be careful of Ymir getting a big value out of his wall. Gotta check over the wall there for that. You can't hit me. Oh, you can't hit me, dog. Oh, I might be dead now. <laughs> I'm definitely dead now. Okay, a little unfortunate there. Oh my goodness, bro. You can't be saying that word. What the hell? Jesus, H. Christmas, dude. They got triple blink. This guy has a warrior's blessing? What is going on? It's a trap. Oh no. Oh no. Coulda, shoulda, woulda, guys. We need to, we need to focus up and try and get this W. Bye bye MC. That is so unfortunate. And then a blind pick. This Ymir just got so much value out of his walls. Literally none of us can get through it. <laughs> Not a single one of us can get through the Ymir wall. There's a definition of unlucky. Oh, come on. Alright, that probably did more damage. Or shell down. We had two of them there, but there's not gonna be a wave there for a while. Go hit it now. I don't know, if we keep selling this game out, I think we have a chance. We just need to keep our farm up, like I said. I need to get some real damage. Oh! You rock! What a steal! Did he really steal that with his three? His acorns from that far away that do like zero damage. Good stuff, buddy. But yeah, like I said, I need to get some damage items online. Maybe we can split push this tier two here. I'm confident in being able to 1v1 anybody on the enemy team, except for maybe their tanks. I kind of just have to run away from them because I won't ever kill them. We're going to do the old loop-de-loop -loop and pull here. Never gonna expect it, dude. Okay, let's go. Oh, maybe he did expect it. We're just gonna run down towards his tower, just so make it awkward, awkward for him. Nice, we're good. Uh oh, is there somebody here? Oh, there is. Why is there a guy here? I'll be good, I believe. If they chase me around forever, it's really not that bad. There's two people here, though, so... I feel like they should be able to attack mid if they realize the numbers advantage they have. 
Alright, we, right, we should be good here. I'm gonna get my telekines. Now we can maybe do some Damahes. I don't know if it's possible, but we can maybe do a little bit. I need a Shogun's. Yes, we got a Shogun's. Nice team here has one. We actually bought a lot of time there. That's why it's good to run towards their side of the map, because when they have fire and stuff like that, like... You buy a lot of time and make it really hard for them to push with their uh, their fire. That's kind of what we did. Now they won't have fire for as long for their pushes. Maybe we can defend. Maybe we'll see. See how they play it. No problem. Look, they're not even going for it. There we go. We get some global gold online with these towers that are all really low. Tier one in right. Tier one in mid. Tier two in left. Go grab our blue here. Only problem with Shielder Regoth on Kronos is it's more of a meme just because um, you really want to be in your fourth quadrant or, yeah, most of the time your fourth quadrant. It's kind of the most useful quadrant, if not the only useful quadrant. Enemy missing middle. Be careful left. Oh, wait, I'm going to hit him with that. Maybe force his bees or something. We need rewards. That hit me? No way. Can't fit through that. Oh my goodness, we got a big Oh my goodness, what is that? What just occurred to me? What did I just witness with my poor optics? Holy cannoli, man. Right. I don't know if they can actually go Phoenix because they're trying to wait for fire, I believe. Think he goes in right, so maybe there's enough time where they can't just run it down and end. Although getting two kills like that, and they may have been able to push an end. Retreat. Retreat. Be careful. Be careful, middle. I just got freaking no yapped. Is the best way to describe it. I feel. I wonder our last item will be here. I think it's just more damage, man. Enemy missing. Um, I can't I can't fall into the, the ring of Ikate double life steel trap. I'm sorry. I, I'm not gonna do that to you guys Did we just go Pythags a little bit extra health and a little bit of life steal maybe maybe I don't know maybe, maybe like Just demonic or hasten would be good, but hasten does give us a little bit more movement speed, right? Does it still give you movement speed? It gives you 7% so Maybe I can go take red We got to give that up my dude Oh my god, he's dead again <laughs> No, he Jane insulted as well. This is not going to be good. No, we were giving that up anyway, dude. Not going to ever defend that. We don't really need ward for it. Dude, I'm about to have this purple debuff on me. For this, for this siege. This is, this is unfortunate. If they go right away. Oh, we got a random crit on me, man. As in, like, he randomly get weaved in an auto. We're going to lose two Phoenixes here, but we got to try and defend Titan. Your left Enemy spotted. Your middle Phoenix has been destroyed. Ah, Come on, get a good pick here. Let's go. That's a good pick. I just need to get enough for my Pythags, bro. Why do I feel so slow? Um, we threw away sure that I need just a little bit more gold for pie, thanks. Be careful. Um, at least I mean I guess I can get it. Be right back. Don't turn around that corner, enemy team. Under Time is money. Back from the jaws of defeat. Go hit this jungle shrine. Give everybody on the map 70 gold with one auto. Anybody else find that troll? Let me know in the comments if you guys think that's troll. Or maybe it's just me, man. Every time I see that or I get gold from it or anything like that, I just find it so so silly is the way I would describe it. Just silly. Oh, I have a red buff. It's actually better than a blue buff at this point, but... Be right back. 
Alrighty. Upgrade our beads. I don't know if this game is even going to go much longer where I, I would get value out of, out of having an upgraded beads considering all it does is give you a lower cooldown on it, but no problem. that's no problem. That's what I would say to it. Uh oh, enemies in right lane. In right lane. We don't have our left way too far pushed. We, uh, very good to get your f fire minions pushed while you can so that you don't really have to worry about the ways when you try and defend the last phoenix or defend like an objective or anything like that. A little bit of poke here. They're gonna play afraid. Be careful. Wait. Give me some poke. Give me some poke. And also clear the wave. Poke the wave. Oh, more poke. Let's go. No, that did not hit me. I'm afraid that's just not true. Oh my god, I almost got stuck in there. What the heck? Okay, I got so ulted. Oh, the DR. Oh, this isn't too bad for us. No, nice, nice, nice. Nice, we got him. Attack. I'm going to go through this portal. Look at this portal. What is that? Nice, let's go. I didn't need to beads that, but... I don't think we end here. Maybe we can. Run it down right, run it down right. Let's get in there, let's get in there. Come on, go, 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 go. I'll do a lot of damage to the Titan. Janus can handle it, dude. He's a Janus. Uh, 20 seconds? What do you guys think? Put in the comments right now if you think we're gonna end. I can just Chronos to this. I feel like maybe we might be able to. He's up in 10. No, don't die to that rat. Do we end here? This is such a risky play. I feel like we have to go for it. Attack the Titan. We have to. I gotta save my two here. Okay, this is impossible. No, I tried to gre greedy with my ult, dude. I don't. Okay, maybe we could have just defended our phoenixes in one. And okay, that was such a horrible call. We could have defended our phoenixes and been fine. How did a minion wave get past this guy? That's probably game though. Oh no, we could have. I didn't realize the phoenixes were also spawning. Oh, oh, this Apollo throws for us? Oh! No! I think we lose here if they realize that they can just run it down. The Apollo's back to full health. That is so unfortunate, man. I mean, either way, they might have been able to just run it down and get a Phoenix and have the Titan still at low health. But even sometimes I make, the, I make horrible calls, okay? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Bad call. GG though. No problem. No fun. It was a good game though. It was fun. <laughs> oh my goodness. That end call. What was that, dude? Okay, that's that's the reason I made that end call, because I realized the servers were gonna go down in forty five minutes and we couldn't be stuck in that game. We had to we had to end it there then and there, you know? GG though. That was a fun one. That was a fun one. Good fight by us there at the end. We actually, like I said, we brought it back there. We made it to the late game and uh, maybe could have won the game there if we just played it safe and tried to defend our Phoenixes at 1 HP. But the thing is, like I said, the Titan was already really low. They probably could have easily gotten another Phoenix and had the Titan still be at that health. And it would be really, really rough. But we defended one, so maybe we could have done it again. But I guess we'll never know. What I do know, though, is that Kronos is a fun god and he's one of my favorite characters so i hope you guys enjoyed this play by play let me know what you want to see next like i said the the top voted comments whatever you guys want to see we'll make a video on it to try and i guess this time make sure that the pre the pretzels don't become illegal in the future but yeah um thanks for watching the video guys stay safe stay healthy if anybody lives in florida stay safe um the hurricane's supposed to hit this weekend so we're going to be bunkering down so i hope you guys are as well um i'll see you guys in the next video peace out love you all bye